Hello guys and welcome to One Take Sunday. I know I've been doing a lot of one takes and it kind of sucks. Tomorrow will probably be a one take too when I get off work because I work 12 to 8. Um, and I do work all day New Year's Eve too. I work 12 to 9 but it won't be a one take because I am going to be drinking when I get off work. And Tuesday I'm off and going to get fireworks. So, that's exciting. Um, but yeah. Um, let's talk about this year. Well, not this year, but next year. Um, next year is going to hopefully be my year. Um, <clears throat> I plan on going back to the gym in January. And either, I don't think so much every day, maybe every week of next year, I'm going to take a picture um, because I want to go back to the gym. And I want to kind of see my progress from this January until next January. And the only thing that fears me, um, not that I won't stick to it, but days that I work all day, I don't like going to the gym. I would much rather go after work than before work. So that I can like sleep in and not have to get up 8 o'clock, go to the gym for 9, then go to the work, go to work for 12. Um, it fears me that, um, that that's what's going to keep me from not going to the gym. And it's really stupid. I, I probably really shouldn't. I should just, you know, go to the gym if I work 12 to 8. Um, but then again, I won't have a lot of days. Scooter, get out of my cords. Um, I probably won't have a lot of days that I work 12 to 8, but it's hard to say with next year because that's kind of my other thing. Like, um, I want to prove myself more at work so that I can have more hours so that days that I have off I can go do things and whatever and when I get my new toy my little quadcopter thing it'll be cool because I can like film some cool different things go places and and whatever and stuff like that which will be really cool um because it'll bring some more things to the videos um and that's another thing too like I, I really want to make these videos better but at the same time, too, it's really hard with having to do work and balance these videos and me still living at home. Um, so maybe next year will be my year where, um, you know, I can prove myself more at work, get some more hours, and maybe move out after next year, um, which would be really nice. Not that I don't like living at home. I, I like living at home. It just, um, I don't like living off my parents. Um, I'm 21, going to be 22 in April. And I'm still living at home, um, which I mean, my dad lived at home till he was 28, but that was different because he was saving to obviously build this house that I'm living in right now. Um, so that's different circumstances. I mean, he could have moved out if he wanted to, but he wanted to save for something. He wanted to end, you know, I don't know. I just, I want next year to be my year, um, you know, with the whole gym thing, I want to stick to the gym. Um, probably not January 1st. I'm going to go back to the gym because January 1st they're probably obviously closed. Um, but maybe Saturday if I'm off and it's not disgusting outside. Saturday would be January or even Friday maybe. Friday would be January 2nd and I would have, I will get income tax, not income tax, uh, GST that day. So I can use my GST to get a membership. And what I want to do is I'm going to take a picture of me now, um, of what I look like. I haven't decided with a shirt on or with a shirt off with just a bra on, um, because I don't really know how I feel about showing you guys that, which even if I don't show you, it's just, it's something for me, um, to look back on in a year's time. Um, so my plan was to take a picture every day of next year, um, but that would probably be stupid because you're not going to see progress in a day. So what I was thinking is four pictures a month, which would mean, like, say, maybe every Monday could be weigh-in day and picture day. Um, and then over the year, I can put them together and see how I progress. Because um, I really want to stick to it for a year because, um, I mean, I keep making up all these excuses why I haven't gone back to the gym. First, it was because I had no money. Um, then it was because, oh, it was too busy at work and all these parties. And it's like, well, I'll wait a little bit longer and, you know, I've, I've just, I've got to stop that and just say, you know, I'm going back to the gym. And so I said for this month of December, 
um, where it was crazy busy at work with all the parties and, and whatever, and Christmas and the New Year's. Um, I'm not gonna restrict myself to what I eat. Um, like, not saying that I ate really, really bad, but I mean, like, there were days, like, whatever, like, uh, a few days, like, going to McDonald's and whatever, like, that's, come January, that's gonna stop. Um, and not that I'm gonna force myself to eat all healthy, like, everything in moderation is fine, um, but it's just something for me, um. But yes, anyway, as I was saying, my, my dad came up, sorry. Um, but it's just something I want to do for me. Going to the gym made me feel better, even though, like, like, I don't care if I lose, like, a whole bunch of weight. I just want to lose some to make me feel good. And going to the gym, even though I didn't, like, I mean, I did. I lost, like, 20 pounds, even though I've probably obviously gained some of that back since I've stopped going to the gym. But... You know, it's something I want to do for me. So I want to make next year my year. And the reason why I'm saying that is because um, the video that Shay and Ron did, well, Ron wrote the song, but Shay, like, they filmed it and stuff. And, you know, that song, it, it motivated me to make next year my year, just like what they're doing, like, with their weight loss and stuff. And um, he's one of my big reasons and a couple other YouTubers to make this commitment to go to the gym and, you know, to eat better, even though, like, you eat things in moderation. You can eat things that, like, okay, well, say if, if you, like, you have to treat yourself. So, like, once a week, like, say if, you, if you're a person that likes to eat chocolate, eat it once a week. If you eat a chocolate bar every day, yes, that's going to be bad for you, but if you do it once a week, it's not. Um, and even before when I cut out drinking all the sodas and eating the chips all the time, even that made a difference without me even going to the gym. Um, and the reason why I stopped drinking all the soda was because, um, my mom and my aunt, um, they suffer really bad with kidney stones and that can be hereditary. And the one thing that helps not getting kidney stones is the soda. Soda is really bad. Um, so drinking water all the time, it will, like, if you notice, if you drink a lot of water every day, you'll pee a lot. And it's good because if you have crystals in there, before they crystallize, you're going to flush them out and they're not going to be able to form. And henceforth, you won't have kidney stones. So I don't want, I, I, not that I don't drink pop, I, like, maybe I'll have, like, a mouthful here and there. But I don't sit down and drink, like, glasses and glasses of pop and, like, cans of pop um, like, if I'm going out or something, maybe I'll have, like, a can of pop or whatever. Most times, anytime I go somewhere, I always have a glass of water. Um, but, yeah, anyway. I'm gonna go edit this. I have, so I'll have four videos to upload, so there'll be four videos tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna schedule them all to go up different times. Um, but this one here will be up at six, I think. Hopefully. I need to edit this, and the other three are already done. So I'm gonna go do that now, um, while watching... Gossip Girl. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow.